This is Adam with South Coast Yachts. Just wanted to give you a tour of this uh, beautiful 2024 Swift Trawler 41 that we just did the handover for the new owners today. And uh, she's really well built. We got custom canvas up on the flybridge, um, custom uh, synthetic sea deck teak on the uh, cockpit area here. And uh, I'll take you on a quick tour of this awesome boat. So we'll give you a little extended shot here, uh, looking at the aft starboard side of the boat and forward. Again, this is the 2024 Swiss Trawler 41. You can see the really solid, beautiful uh, bimini and enclosure we had done up on the flybridge there from Memo down in San Diego. And as we come forward here, I'll walk you up the starboard side, but let's take a look at the uh, synthetic teak decking on the back here. So this is great. This is no maintenance. There's really a lot of grip, even when it's wet, it's really grippy, really comfortable underfoot. doesn't get too hot. Let's walk up the starboard side of the boat here. So this is in the pearl gray hull. Got a little accent wooden slats here up on the side. The nice thing about this 41 is when you are shorthanded, you got your helm station right on the starboard side and you do have a access door right here. So you got controls of your bow and stern thruster and your both your throttles right there. And you can actually stand right here on the outside of the boat have this door open and pull right up to your slip, jump off and tie her off. So yeah, we just did the hander over this boat today. So we did take her on a little of a run around the bay. She's got a few water spots, but uh, we'll get her cleaned up before the owner comes back on Thursday to take her up to Newport Beach. We got high stainless steel railings all around the bow there. Uh, when I'll get up on top and show you, but you got a nice big uh, delta anchor. You got your electric windlass. You do have a lounge pad that's got a cover on it right now. Spotlight, and there's your bimini enclosure looking at it from the front. And then I'll just walk around, show you the port side. So this bench actually slides back to free up a little bit more room in the cockpit when you are uh, at anchor or just lounging on the boat. And again, port side, high railings all around. And look at that beautiful pearl gray hull. Let's now, uh, we'll hop on board to give you a tour of uh, inside before I take you up to the flybridge. So just stepping onto the aft swim platform here. You do have, uh, take a look on the starboard side here, right underneath, you do have a boarding ladder uh, right here. So kind of like an emergency boarding ladder you can pull out and use. But then also under this hatch, you have uh, more of a heavy duty ladder you can fold out and set up. So, you know, that'd be kind of the one you use more often, but uh, just in case you do fall in and you can't get access to that, you do have a boarding ladder that comes right out the bottom there. This boat has underwater lights. You got, man, this boat has all the bells and whistles, air conditioner, generator. You know, you got underwater lights. You got flat screen TVs in the main cabin in the, in the main salon. Here's your ladder that goes up to the flybridge. This is the Dolce 51 Sumbrella material out here on the uh, for the cockpit cushions, but good cup holders all around. You do have storage underneath these bench seats, and then again, this does this seat slides back to free up more room in the cockpit here. We open up the floorboard here. This is where generator and main breaker switches and general storage is in the boat. So you got a lot of room down there. These are uh, just folding chairs that come with the boat that you can use on the flybridge or in the aft deck here. And then all your, most of your main breaker panels here is your mace generator. And then I'll show you the engine room too, which is forward, which is access through the, uh, through the galley floor. Before we go in there, so your main axis going forward is on the starboard side here. 
So you got a nice, clear, spacious walkway. Again, we're coming right up to, here is the, the access door for the captain to step right over the helm station and onto the, uh, onto the dock. And then, yeah, clear path all the way forward. Good non-skid up here. And then you got a nice big lounge pad here. I'll lift this up. They just put the cover on, but this also has the Dolce 51 uh, Sunbrella material. So it's proven to be difficult to do one-handed. On this side, on that side too. I'll take that off and take pictures of the boat for you. But it's beautiful and this, this does kick up so you can have a, uh, a full seat sitting here and then other obviously just lounge pad all the way back. Jerry Lumar windlass and then chain and road. It's all stuff down here. You have access to this chain locker from both sides here, that hatch and this hatch. Kind of makes it easy to get there and uh, keep flaking the chain as it's coming in. And then you do have your, your remote control for the windlass there and your breaker winch to release the clutch if you need to drop that anchor in an emergency. And then I love how we have the little seat here and just lifeline gate. Let's look aft. Great view from up on the flybridge. And as we walk down the port side, again, these are kind of waist level life rails. This side's a little more narrow but still got plenty of space and safety moving aft. Down a couple of stairs, we're back in the cockpit. Now as we step inside, we walk right into the galley. So to port, we have our induction stove, we have our convection microwave oven, we have trash, dry good storage, Glassware, plateware, storage, everywhere. Big stainless steel sink, double sink, all your cutlery, and then another big storage pantry here. And then immediately to starboard, we have our fridge. and freezer. So tons of refrigeration, which is great. And then just storage up here for miscellaneous. Here is your, all right, so your main breakers, the generator, all your light switches, your, your negative battery, your fusion head unit. So this is a Bluetooth unit. This is your panel to monitor your tank levels. Battery levels, so there's your generator battery, engine battery, house bank, and then you can also look at your water tanks and fuel tanks, and then you can change your air conditioner selection from here, and you, this is where you'd switch it from, uh, from generator to shore power if you need. And as we come forward, you got a cool little spot for flat screen TV that stows right in here. This is on a swivel, so this will come out and swivel forward so you can kind of get a good view of it from all over the boat. That just tucks away nicely out of, out of the way. And then you have your ice maker, storage, and then this is uh, one of the air conditioning compressor units here. And here is your climate control for the main cabin here. So look at all the space we have up here. This is great. Pretty much call it with this section here, blocking view, you got about two, you know, 300 degree view all around just from the helm station. Uh, beautiful leather seats all around here. Nice big salon table. You have these support struts that come out Hold this closed and then this seat actually lifts up rotates drops down and then you can seat two more people around the table so you can really fit you know seven people comfortably eight people you know if you want to be a little close but you can seat a lot of people 
looking at the helm station here. So here I am at the helm. Again, like my view all around, I can just step out and look aft here. Spinning around. And then good view looking to the port side. And we have our large Raymarine chart plotter here. When this is, I don't know if this is powered up yet, but when that's powered on, there is actually a rear camera. So you can see right to the back of your swim platform, how close you are getting the dock. You got all, all your switches here, windlass, your horn, navigation, um, your water pressure, defroster, windshield wiper fluid, three windshield wipers for each windshield. You got your autopilot controls here, your engine controls here, really monitoring that, your thruster controls, and this is your electronic uh, uh, throttles. It's really nice, you can sync those too. And you do have bow and stern thruster. And here's your engine start stop down here. And really just nice wheel here, leather covered. It's great. Close this up and we'll bring you a quick view downstairs. So gotta come down about three steps here. And we'll run straight up into the master suite up here so you got your island style of berth that's a good size bed right there really easy access on both sides you have another flat screen tv mounted here to port you have your spacious head so really nice i love the fit and finish of everything on this boat it's really well done beautiful sink opening port lights everywhere of course you want to make sure those are closed when you're underway and then on the starboard side you have your full-size shower great lighting and ventilation in there too you have storage underneath the mattresses here and then you got an air conditioning unit down there you have your bow thruster batteries under my feet here. And I believe you have a water tank up there and you have a gray water tank under the floor right here. Then your black water tank under this floor. So because all the, the toilets and all the plumbing is below the water line, you do have a macerator and a pump to empty out your holding tanks and your gray water tanks on this boat. A lot of the uh, sailboats where holding tanks are above the water line, they are just gravity fed. But these are electric flushing heads and they are fresh water and salt water. So you have your choice to do either. And then on the port side here, sorry if I'm going a little fast, I just don't have a lot of time. Uh, you have kind of your VIP cabin. So this cushion right here, this comes out so you can have two singles or you have that filler cushion in for a full size bed. This cushion right here is for the main salon table when it lowers down and that's a filler cushion so you can make that a bed as well. You have nice big hanging locker. Again, opening port lights and good just natural lighting and ventilation here. Here's your climate control for this room, light switch. Yeah, a lot of space, good comfortable space. And then on the starboard side, behind the shared guest head is another cabin. So this just has the single berth. There is an option to make this a, a double bunk room, but this boat has come pre-wired for a washer dryer, which would go right in this spot here. Uh, without the washer dryer, you just have a lot of space down here. Like, yeah, the headroom's a little low, but it doesn't feel claustrophobic or, yeah, anything. It's, it feels good. You got air conditioning vents here your light switch, and then just nothing behind the door there. Yeah, and then coming back out, we'll kind of look at that. So as I was saying, this main salon, you take the table off, there are shorter table legs that fit in there. Then you put the table back on, you put that filler cushion on here, and then this is another large bed here with these curtains. We'll pull out and follow this track all the way around as privacy curtains for whoever is going to be sleeping there for the night. Now, last place I'm gonna take you on this very quick tour 
will be up to the flybridge. So come right out here, the aft doors, come up the ladder, and we have where you're probably gonna be spending 90% of your time, the flybridge. So up here, starting aft, you got a lot of space back here. So we get back into focus. You can put the, it did come with a kind of, a, it's called director's chairs that you can put up here, but I, I think putting a couple of bean bags up here would be great. And then just facing forward, you have your grill. You do have a cutting board, but this is also a sink when you remove this guy out of the way. So that's your fresh water. You have hot, hot and cold water there. You got trash. And then you do have another fridge here too with a little ice box. So you don't have to keep climbing down the, uh, the ladder every time you need to refill your cocktail. Close this up. And then we just put the covers back on, but let's show you the uh, that the upholstery, which is the same as the the cover down or the uh, the forward lounge pad. So it'll be just this Dolce 51 umbrella material. Really comfortable, really weather resistant. You you don't even really need these covers on. These covers would be more for just keeping bird poop off if uh, birds are feeling like they want to join you on your boat. Here we have, we'll take this off because it's easy to do one-handed, but this is your large cockpit table. So this guy again will fold out and then you have seating all around with you. Spin the captain chair around there and you have good eight people seating, no problem around this table, which is great. And we'll just take a quick look at the wonderful work Memo did here on the Bimini and the enclosure. So we did three cord enclosure. We're leaving the back open here. We have strata, uh, strata glass on the sides here. So you can actually roll this up and tuck it out away. We have Macrolon on the front uh, with strata glass in the middle. So this panel will open up and pin up to the ceiling here, but the Macrolon will stay crystal clear. Strata glass is, is very high quality as well. And then again, another panel on the starboard side that'll roll up. So if you want to get more ventilation up here, your captain's chair right here is also great. Let's see if I can do this one one-handed. Sorry for the... So here's your captain's chair, which swivels around. You can lower this down, sit comfortably or have it up and lean. And then you have your upper helm station. Let's pop all this off so we can show you all this. So you got two, your Raymarine chart plotters. Again, the exact same throttle system, bow thrusters, your trim tabs, your VHF radio. You have your anchor windlass switch here, your bow thruster switch, your horn. You got your autopilot. You got your engine monitoring. You got your spotlight controls. You have so here's another, uh, looks like autopilot system here, uh, engine start and stop, and then you can brighten and uh, dim because you are outside here, so it's harder to see these screens, so you can uh, control the brightness on the screens. Um, and then just look at the view from up here. 360 degree view for sure. Up here. It's great. You can see why the Swift Trawler 41 is a popular model. It is a lot of boat for the size that you get. The price is fantastic. It's comfortable, it's well built, and we can't keep enough of them in stock. There's actually no more available this year. So if you're interested in getting one of those boats, uh, you know, the next one that would be able to ship from the factory would likely be about spring or a little later of 2024. Spot for a life raft storage back here. Yeah, and just lots of room on this back deck. It's really great. The Swift Trawler, Beneteau Swift Trawler 41. So that was just a really, really quick walkthrough of uh, this new Beneteau Swift Trawler 41. This is a 2024 model. Uh, again, it just did the handover on this boat today to the new owner. Um, 
and they are loving it and they will be taking this up to Newport in a couple of days. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you are interested in more information, please feel free to reach out to me, adam at scyachts.com or you can call me or text me on 949-973-4812. Thank you.